In this episode of Valka, so we're going to be showing you how to stop a CV axle from clicking. <laughs> So first step, we just got to whiz the wheel nuts off and take the wheel off. So what we did before we took the wheel off is first you have to hammer out so you can see well, where that was sitting, it was down there. And that basically just locks the nut in. So all you have to do is just hammer that out with just like a flathead screwdriver. And then what we did is we just had like the center cap out of the wheel and we were just bouncing up and down on a breaker bar trying to get it off as you can you know, see what we did in the manual swap. But now just gonna ugga dugger the rest of that nut off and then we'll be up to the next step. So there's multiple ways you can go about uh, pulling the axle out. So what we did in the manual swap was we did the lower lower ball joint and uh, disconnected the suspension fork and you can you know pull it forward and the axle can slide out but what I, the part I'm going to take on this one is I'm just going to pop the top one off because I feel like that's going to be easier then the whole arm can just fall forward and we can pop the axle out so your first step is to take this cotter pin out so as you can see it's just wrapped around all you gotta do is just unravel it and then once you've done that you can whiz that nut off and uh, we'll show you how to separate the ball joint. So now we've just got a little bendy bit on our um, impact and then we're just gonna zap that nut off and then we'll be up to the next step. So what we had to do to get the ball joint up here separated, we used, um, we just used a normal socket, take the, uh, or first you take the cotter pin out, then you take the cotter nut out, spin the nut off and then you gotta put it back on a little bit just so the thread has something to, um, the ball joint separated has something to grab onto, otherwise it'll squish. And see them holes there, it'll squish and just keep smushing it up all the way until there's nothing left and then it's just not reusable, which is what happened to the Integra the first time we used it. So once you put your nut on, you're all good to go. Use the ball joint separator and it'll usually go a massive bang and it will shoot out and loosen it all up. But then your issue is that um, control arm will be sitting on the nut and every time you try and loosen the nut, the inner rod will be spinning, which means you're not getting anywhere. So what you do is you just grab your jack, jack it up a bit, just so that control arm starts to lock with the rod again, which is how it was meant to be. And then what you'd be able to do is just grab a, uh, a spanner and just whiz it off quickly. So now what we've got to do is uh, disconnect everything that's attached that may get stretched when um, this is let down and this will come out towards me. So we just take this one off and probably look into that one as well, just seeing how much leverage we have. And then we should be good just to lean this forward and pop the axle out. So we're up to letting the jack down now. So we're going to let it down and that should pop right out like that. And then we can lean it forward and we can pop the axle out of the brake disc and the gearbox. So all we had to do was you had to take this bottom fork of the suspension off just to get clearance on the axle. So now it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just kind of finagle the weight, the axle out of here. You can just pull on that. It's a bit of an effort, but once you get the right angle, it should just come right out. So once we get the axle out of the car, what we're gonna do is gonna clip these metal um, clips here clip them off, then we're gonna slice this boot off. And then the next step is to hammer this baby off, replace the boot, fill with grease, and then chuck it back in the car. Right, so now we've got the clip off. As you can see, my CV boot was completely torn in half. So now we're just gonna do the satisfying bit where we just, <laughs> where we just cut the boot in half. All right, so we ended up getting it off. It just needed a big strike with the hammer and it just slid off. But then our main issue was we didn't because we haven't done a lot with axles. I've only done the outer ones, and with the inner one they have this C clip, and it's kind of a bigger one, and that sits on the outside there in that ring and keeps the axle in. But what I didn't know, we end up popping it off with that still on it, and that sat in the bottom. So then what you have to do from there with this um, a cord axle anyway is there's this little split pin ring in here. You pop that out, and then you sit it face down. And then the contents come out and our little ring which is sitting on the top there pop the ring off you need to put, uh, pull it apart to put the axle back on anyway because you need to put that clip back over while this piece is on there so what we're going to do now we're just going to clean everything up give it a bit of a degrease and stuff then we're going to slide the boot on the bottom clip put the content back on and then put the clip on right on the in the little seat there and then slide this baby back over and she's ready to go back in the car. So this is the kit we got. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce this, this name, but it's just the kit I just got off Super Cheap Auto, like $14 or something. Pretty simple, just comes with a replacement CV boot, which as you can see, 
compared to the one we had. It's you know night and day. And then we've just got the two clips to keep the boot on the axle. And then we've just got a thing of high temp grease and that's it. So what you gotta do, just so you don't save yourself putting it on and off and on and off, is stick this, this smaller clamp on the bottom one there. And then we just wanna stick the boot on. This is the also moment of truth to see if it actually fits, which this one looks like it will. Just with a bit of encouragement, slide it down, and then you can just sit it there for the moment, and we'll worry about that clip later when everything's assembled. So now from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck the bigger clamp. I'm gonna have to undo this one. Bigger clamp on, and then we can chuck the contents in. I'm gonna give this a bit of a wipe down. It's obviously not possible to get everything out if you're not chucking it, you know, like in some, a bucket of degrees. I wish one a bit cleaner so we can obviously load it up with fresh grease. And then you want to stick it in the exact same way you took it out. So what I'm going to do is this clip that sits in there, to make it easier for myself, I'm just going to sit it just in there. So then we can grab it out later. So and then I'm going to slide this one on like that. Grab the retaining clip and try and push it on my fingers. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Nope, one of the balls just fell out. <laughs> so it was a bit of a challenge getting that in, I'm not going to lie. So what we had to do, we don't actually have the right tool, so what we got here, we got a set of, oh jeez, <laughs> we got a set of these bad boys, <laughs> and we just stuck it in, like, we all got on that side with that one, and I got on that side with that one, and we just stretched them out, clipped it over. So now that's in, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the outer part of the axle, and we're going to just try and slide that in without having everything just disassemble itself, so that's good like that and now we're going to clip that pin in before I forget about it so I'm going to have to move that boot down and you can probably see the clip I'm going to pop it just in its seat if I can there we go so it just sits in that little seat in there and that will stop for everything from disassembling when I pull it out as you can see it's not going to just grenade itself so now what we're going to do is wrap the boot around the outside of the axle just like that get it all seated and then we can chuck the clamps on. So we actually forgot an extremely important part. So we've pulled the boot back off, just like that. Now I need to fill it back up with grease, because obviously it's not gonna work without grease and you're gonna have clicking and stuff, which is what you're trying to get rid of. So we're gonna cut this off and we're just gonna use as much grease as we can. So we might flip it upside down so we can get all into them balls and everything, spinning around a bit, just get it all, you know, lubed up. Then we're gonna squeeze all the rest of the grease back into the boot so it's completely filled with grease, slide it back over and do what we said before. So as you can see, we see the contents. We're just gonna, oh, I've got cut a little hole in the side of the bag. And we're just gonna start squeezing that out. And just filling it basically everywhere you can get into. Just absolutely coat everything in grease. And then once you've got a pretty good layer, I might chuck a glove on and start smoothing that around. And then once you've got a good layer, as I said, flip it up and fill it up, so. So now's the fun part. We're just gonna squeeze it 100%. The rest of it, just squeeze it right in there. Let's hope it doesn't just explode out when we're trying to put the clips on. But you just want as much of the grease as you want, uh, as you can, and it's just going to quieten up your noise, make the axles last longer, because obviously metal on metal is not good. So we've finally got the clips on. For us, it was kind of a two-person job, so you just grab, one person grabs a needle nose pliers and just pulls on the tab as hard as they can, and then kind of loop it back over. It was like, I don't know, there's, I'm sure there's no right or wrong way to do it, but all we did is just fold it back on itself, and just hammered that loop shut just so there's nothing in the way no chance of it you know especially on the inner one nicking in and cutting the boot but now you just do the final test that everything moves all nice and smoothly there's no leakage that these are all on nice and firm and now it's ready to go back in the car so all we've done is just popped the um outer part of the axle in and now all we have to do is just line that up chuck it in there so i mean hard to do it on one person but just line that up then what you want to do is pull that up and then get it so it's on the thread then clearly chuck the bolt on the bottom then you know tighten it all back up and we'll be good right so getting it all back together is just complete reverse of taking it off it was a bit in the pain in the ass but basically once you've got the axle in you just got to jack up your rotor and everything and that helps you push the suspension arm on so then you can just get that bolt on get that cotter pin on, tied that all up. Then we just chuck the, the brake line mounts back on. Axle's all in, we've just finger tightened up the um, axle nut. Now all we have to do is just chuck this bottom suspension fork on and then wheel on and you're done.
Righto, so we just finished tightening everything down so it's all back together. We've um just for the meantime impacted on the axle nut and then once we get it on the ground we'll um get on the breaker bar and get it properly snugged up. We've um put the bottom suspension arm on, put the uh the top ball joint on, put the nut on the cotter pin on, put these brake line mounts on, everything's back, all it needs is a wheel and then one final reef on the uh, axle nut and then on the road. So we've just torqued down the axle nut, so now all Archie's doing is just, like with just a screwdriver and a hammer, just pushing that little bit of the nut into the little indent, just so it properly locks in and there's no chance of coming out. And then slap the center cap on and we're done. Done. That's gonna finish it off for this episode. Thanks for coming along and watching. Uh, the axles haven't clicked since, it's a cheap fix. Everyone always thinks, oh, my CVs are clicking. Time to get new axles. Well, it's not the truth. You just got some boots and some grease and they're good to go. So thanks for watching this episode of Valve House.